If you're suffering with sciatica leg pain, you know how excruciating of a pain that is. You may get that zapping, shooting pain down your leg into your foot. It may be hard to sit or even stand and move around. And even sleeping is a big problem. So in this video, I'm going to give you three great stretches that may help relieve that sciatica leg pain. They're easy to do, easy to follow, and can be done right at home. Hi there, I'm Dr. Walter Slubro. I'm a chiropractor in Vaughan, Ontario, Canada. And what this channel is about is giving you tips and strategies on how to strengthen and stabilize your back. Like this, you can bend, move, and lift normally without pain and limitation. Now, let's go talk about sciatica and let's show you some of those relief exercises that can be done at home. So one of the reasons why sciatica is so debilitating and very painful is because the sciatic nerve is the largest nerve in your body and it originates from the lower lumbar nerves, L4 and L5, and also the sacral nerves which are deep in the pelvic region. But they emerge out from the buttock region and there's muscles around them like the piriformis muscle. So sometimes that muscle can be aggravating, that's why sitting will cause more aggravation in that buttock area and also in the sciatic nerve. Sometimes it can be a disc problem that's irritating the L4 nerve or L5 nerve in your lower back or it can be other issues as well with posture degeneration and other stuff so stretching out the lower back region and the piriformis and doing nerve flossing can be very useful to relieving sciatic pain along with other things like chiropractic care and physiotherapy and so forth now in this video I'm gonna give you three great stretches and exercises that you can do at home that may help relieve some of that sciatic pain so let's get at the exercises right now the first exercise is called the nerve floss or nerve glide or sciatica nerve glide and it's really useful to help to decrease or remove some of these soft tissue adhesions along the sciatic nerve that could be irritating it or preventing it from healing properly. And what you do is you sit down on a chair or on the edge of your bed, right? Make sure you're comfortable. And we're gonna focus on this leg first. So let's assume there's right side leg pain. And this is the basic motion. So you bring your, your leg up like this and you wanna bring your foot back towards you, okay? As you bring your leg up. But you're gonna also do some head movement too. So you start like this, leg up, toes towards you. As that happens, you bring your head back, look behind you. Hold yourself here. And you feel a nice stretch through the entire leg and sciatic nerve area. And you repeat that five, 10 times as long as it's comfortable and tolerable. I'll do a couple more reps so you can see it. And that's how you do sciatica nerve glide or sciatica nerve floss. For exercise number two, you need to lie down either on the ground or on your bed. And we're gonna stretch the piriformis muscle. So this is how it's done. When you're lying down, bend this knee here, turn this over and cross it on the bent knee. And then we're gonna stretch the right piriformis muscle over here by pulling the opposite thigh just like that. And you hold it for 10 seconds and repeat three times. That's how you stretch the piriformis muscle. Again, if you feel pain or discomfort or aggravate your symptoms, you don't want to stretch through those pain and symptoms. Only do this when it's tolerable. Let's get on to exercise number three. Exercise number three, it's going to be a knee to chest exercise. You'll be stretching the posterior muscles here, your, your uh, thigh muscles and, the, and also the gluteal muscles and also the lower back muscles. It does help relieve the tension in the thigh and buttock area and can be very useful in relieving sciatic pain. So you do this again if it doesn't aggravate your symptoms. So this is how it's done. You need to lie down on your bed or on the ground. So we're going to do a single knee, knee to chest stretch, pull towards you, grab your knee as far as you can, hold 10 seconds and repeat that three times. So you'll do three on this one. 
And then once you finish three of those, do three on this one. So you switch. So three reps here, and then both together. And that's how you do the knee to chest stretches to help relieve that lower back buttock tension that may be aggravating the sciatic nerve as well. So three single knee to chest stretches on one side, three single knee to chest stretches on the other side, and three doubles. So there you have it. These three stretches I've given to many of my patients have helped them relieve the sciatica pain, that leg pain from that sciatica nerve area. Give them a try. Tell me which one you think you like the best. Also, if you enjoyed this video, do like the video and do share it. And comment below if you have any questions or just tell me about your thoughts about the video. And if you want to see more of these types of videos, do go ahead and subscribe right now like this. You don't miss out. And I'll catch you on the next video.